With these drones, officers can now respond to the immediate dangers of residents in situations like Amber Alerts. What you see now is empty space, but it will soon be occupied by 1,000 affordable housing units. All voters are encouraged to wear masks. It is not required, and social distancing measures are being implemented here from the stickers on the ground to the plexiglass up behind me. After shopping, Smith says he got in his car. That's when he looked in his rear view mirror and saw the disturbing situation. To further enhance current programming and grow loud and therapeutic writing, they're expanding to a new facility in Levittsville. This diocese has been operating under restricted guidelines for over a year, but now these pews are filled again with parish members coming back to worship. But the common theme they're seeing is keys being left in the ignition. Whether it's clothes, hats, or jewelry, it's all to help women and children in need. Get out of the car. I'm reaching for my seatbelt. It's incidents like this that prompted the city of Fairfax Police Department to buy these vehicle identification pouches to hand out to drivers. We know that it's not the solution that's going to solve everything, but it's definitely a solution. So um, we've been working on this for about six months with this partnership, and uh, we figured it's time to give people just a tool to make them feel comfortable. The department has partnered with the Alliance for Safe Traffic Stops after all the protests in 2020 calling for changes in policing across the country. Doing things like this with the pouches, we're trying to be proactive and try to get that proactive compliance, not only from police, but from the, the citizens. We have to make some changes and create solutions. So it just made sense to uh, really partner with law enforcement and the community to build that bridge and bridge the gap that has occurred over decades. It's not just anything new. Jackie Carter created the Alliance for Safe Traffic Stops and the Not Reaching Pouch after Philando Castile was killed during a traffic stop back in 2016. Since then, she's talked to police departments across the country and found that reaching for your license and registration can cause incidents to escalate. Really what these pouches are, it's a first step in opening a line of communication about police and community and citizen interactions. So what we're hoping this pouch uh, does for us is actually doing, it's opening a conversation. The next part is more training and education. However, the goal of the pouch is that it won't exist. Um, I, we don't want this to be a permanent solution. We want it to be temporary. It's very simple. It's either a shot or a mask. It's up to you. Per CDC guidelines and Governor Northam, you can now take your mask off in most places two weeks after getting your final vaccine, but some say it's too soon. It's too premature. Um, I just think that people were very careless, and I think we'll go back to a bigger mess than we started with if we're just not careful. Virginians will still have to mask up sometimes, such as when riding public transportation and in healthcare settings. Some businesses may or may not require all customers and staff to wear them, like loud and roasted coffee shop in Chantilly. When you come here, it's a personal choice. You choose to, to, to wear a mask or to go maskless. That's, that's a personal choice. Individual businesses can require proof of immunization for entry, but for Marzouk, he doesn't want to impose on anyone. We learn to live in a new normal. Um, then, then I think it, it should feel natural, and that's that's where we where we ultimately want to be. I am actually on my first dose of the Moderna vaccination, and I will get my second in a couple of weeks. But I just choose to still stay cautious and wear my mask and have my family do as well. Horses always seem to know not what to tell me because they don't speak English, but they know what to do to help calm me down, to help. Give me strength. Meet Amy Stone and her companion Duke. Stone joined Loudon Therapeutic Riding back in 2019 to help her improve her daily lifestyle. With Stone being visually impaired, she says riding an adaptive carriage that is wheelchair accessible changed her life. To be able to hang out with him and to be able to just give him my strength and my love as much as he gives it to me. According to the organization's research, over 15,000 residents are living with disabilities and 80,000 are battling with a mental health condition. Due to COVID-19, leaders have seen a greater need for clients building relationships with their horses. What we know is that um, both therapeutic riding, horticulture programs, all those types of different programs that we really haven't thought of before, really uh, assist people who have 
some of the mental health differing abilities. With over 100 clients at the Riding Center and 12 horses, Kathy Blaine, the program director, says she has seen children and adults become stronger and more independent all through real horsepower. I like to think of them as their catalysts for, for love, really, because the people that come here, we share a common love of the horse and we share a deep desire to help others.